whenever it comes out, but he's supposed to come on the 28th. I, I was going to take my family. I was going to try to sneak my family into Universal Studios, oh. even though we're not California residents, and oh. you fucking blew it. I'll Venmo you. I'll pay for the ride and the diddling. You ready for this? Huh. Five tickets, three adults, two kids, 600 bucks. Ah. Hit me ah. on Whoa. the Venmo. What an anal raping. That is horrific. <laughs> At Christian Chaos on Venmo. Um, uh, <laughs> I know uh, I'm doing Rogan tomorrow. I just found out it's in Texas. Really? I'm all screwed up. All, are you really doing no, Rogan tomorrow? No, I'm crazy. joking. I'm joking. And plus, I don't want to rub it in. I know you're dying to get on that show. Oh, what can you do? Uh, uh, you'll get uh, on it. It's going to be a huge deal I when you do. I don't know that I will. I don't know. I think it's kind of one of those things where the reality of it is, is if I was going to get on it, it probably would have got on it already. You no, know? Like, no. He's enjoying this. This is, a, this is all foreplay. And then when you get on, it's going to be the biggest event of all time. Of all time. Yeah, well, well, whatever. Hey, listen. Here's the truth. Whatever happens, happens, babe. You know? It's going to end. You're doing fine without that bald cuck. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Joking Jojo. Flip it. He Pimp, can uh, he can kick me into the next week. Yeah, it'd be not. Yeah, I know. I know. It'd be nice to just get your ass kicked by. I know. I'd like to. I think oh, that's yeah. what we should. Or we're, I think it's at the place now. At least inside comedy, we won't talk about inside comedy too much. But it's at the place now where I think you know. It's. I'd like to start beating the shit out of people on their podcast. We need to get beat up again. Just a little bit. Just hit somebody. You know what yes. I mean? Like somebody runs their mouth on a podcast yes. about somebody. You go into their studio and you say, okay. Here's the thing. I'm going to give you two minutes to say it to my face. Go ahead. Pre start. Sing it, sister. If you say it, I won't punch you in the face. If you don't say it, I'm going to come over there. I'm going to knock your teeth out. I'm yep. going to spit in your mouth. Yes. And then, and then we'll be... So either way, we're going to be even. See it on the Patreon. That's what it is. Patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. <laughs> um, uh, but no, you're right. We need that. All this Twitter feuding uh, and beefing. You know what they say? Haters are like crickets. Yes. They chirp all day long. And then when you get near them, they're quiet. They're quiet. My father said this in 2009. Mm. He said, you know what's going to be the biggest problem in our country? He said this tweeter bullshit. Really? I swear to God. My dad's got an eighth grade education. I was like, why do you say that? He's like, because not everyone's supposed to be talking. Ooh. You're not supposed to hear from everybody. And you he got goes, that and, right. and then, you know, recently he said, now you're hearing from everybody. Look at all the issues. Yeah. He's like, what's the difference? He's like, most people shouldn't talk. And he's the one we were talking outside before. He's the one, I, I told you, the last six months of my life have been probably some of the happiest and, and best in my life. And you know why? Because I've been less informed. Yes. I don't know or here, care here. what's going on on the other side of the world anymore because the truth is it's never going to affect me. And my caring about or not caring about is never going to be able to help them in any way exactly. shape or form it's just the media wanting you to be upset so what i do is i make sure my family is well taken care of as best i can they're happy and healthy and when i go outside i teach you know my daughter hey treat everyone with kindness respect and love if i see somebody that needs assistance i will always help them anything that's in front of me that i can control i try to control in the best possible way i don't worry about if the you know if the coral reefs are dying in no, australia no. i don't know if they were dying in brooklyn and it was going to affect me. Yeah. I try to do something to help. So that's because that's what I think. That's it, what it's all about. Even if like, you do help, you better film it. Yes. You got to show oh everybody my God, you're a hero. Me? Yes, pimp. Yeah, 100%, dude. The vaccine. Yeah, we show everybody. I got a, I got the vaccine. <laughs> I did. If you guys need a card, hit me up at Christy Comedy. Patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. We're giving out fake vaccine cards to the <laughs> Patreon members only. It's just Johnson. The there's yeah. no two. There's only Johnson. Did you get the vax? I got the vax just so people would leave me alone. Look at what? this. I got a fucking uh, band-aid tan. One shot or two? I got the doozy, the deuce. Yes. I got so what four. Is a, a, a Pfizer? Moderna. Moderna. Did you get sick after the second one? I felt woozy. I did soul Joel's and it was great. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you just plowed through it. I plowed through and Joel was trying to talk to me and I said, boy, you're fat. And yeah. then I uh, did the show and, and went home and it was a long night, but we did it. I love soul Joel's. The Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, man. I uh, <laughs> Shout out soul Joel. If Kung you guys Fu don't know, Flu. soul Joel, he's got, he puts up a tent in Royersford, Pennsylvania. Yes. And, all, and everybody's going there now. The, here's the thing. When the quarantine happened, when the quarantine began, people's, everybody started playing in soul Joel's. Joel's world. Yes. Because Soul Joel, and again, go follow him at Soul Joel. I think it's Soul Joel's Comedy Club. Just Lounge. Google Soul Joel's Comedy Lounge. Go follow. He's always got great shows on. Killer. The thing is, is he was always, for, since, since I've known him since 2009, 2010, he was always putting up tents in a parking lot yeah. and doing shows. So then when the whole world shut down, he was like, oh, dude, you're on my turf now. Right. And he built this out. I mean, he got you and me and, 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 and Dice and, and Brewer and, Dice and Louis Nikki C.K. Glazer. and all these guys yeah. to come to this field in the middle of Tim Dillon. These rednecks out in PA are getting the best show in the year. The best show. And yeah. he pays. 90% door deal, fuckers. You got that right. I yes. know. Dude. 
So, yeah, so you came on the wrong day. We weren't set up. We weren't ah, set up. We were doing homework with the kids. We just eaten all the... You know what? Because the thing is, we had, Pimp and I just ate all the pancakes, too. We had my uh, oh. girlfriend. She makes pancakes. She makes nice... Everything is with spice on it, though. She makes banana pancakes, puts chili flakes on it. The I don't know what... The fucking Hispanics. The Hispanios. Kids in cages. So we had... I know, dude. I mean, that's what it is. And Hey, but, they want to get in here, right? They want... Exactly. And now Biden, you know, Kamala Harris is handing out books. Ah. She's handing out her books to the people coming into the border it's Hope just it's a, not dr seuss it's a i know right. dude let's i know dr seuss is i know my kid <laughs> sorry my i kid, can't say anything you just no, go dude, off the, on well, anything. the other day my daughter was reading a dr seuss book eating fucking goya beans i was like look at this nazi <laughs> 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 isn't yeah. it nice not to pretend to care oh, you know it's everybody's pre- so exhausting oh it's all bullshit i love too. like you know like with the oscars or the people that just like dude here's the thing being in los angeles now for the past two months it's just, you know, you asked me because you said you came to that. And it is a beautiful house. Thank you. Shout out to True, True TV. Thank you. You paid for half of it, you scumbags. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, well, season one. It's a season one budget. So they're like, hey, listen, we can't give you the whole way. But Good I was point. like, hey, you know, I'm not one of the jokers. So, <laughs> so. You hear that, Murr? You're replaceable. Yeah, I'll fucking kill you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a threat. <laughs> yeah, dude. He'll sue me for that. So, um, you know, he came and he said, oh, beautiful house. You're probably never going back to New York. And the truth is, is I know that there's bullshit everywhere. I know that there's bullshit everywhere. But New York, it's a little bit less in your face. I yes. feel like it's a little bit behind the closet. We're here. It's like, you know, you're talking to people and you're just like, listen, every the people I've met have all been kind and nice and great. But, you know, you see somebody jogging, you know, by themselves outside with a mask on, nobody within 100 feet of them. Yeah. And you're like, you're not doing that because you're scared of COVID. You're doing that because you're posturing and you want to be like, hey, look at me. Look at me following the rules. I want to just walk up to these people and be like, hey, Trump lost. Okay. Uh, you won. <laughs> Right, you right. won. You got Trump out. You won. Yeah. You can take the mask off now and stop playing pretend yes. like you're really actually scared of COVID because you're not. And if you are that scared of COVID that you're wearing a mask on in the middle of a field by yourself, then you're such a bona fide pussy. I have zero <laughs> respect for you. 